Friday night trip down to Sheffield uh, to face Sheffield Eagles, who won the first two games this year. Be a difficult test for your squad. It's going to be really tough, yeah. I mean, uh, I've watched both Sheffield's games. Uh, they didn't play any trials, so they really came into it fresh. Uh, the first game, they, they really put Swinton to the sword on their uh, 4G pitch and they played it, the game really quick and they were really skillful. Uh, so they'll, be, they'll definitely be a threat. Uh, and then the second game, they played Barrow in, uh, shall we say, heavy conditions and they adapted really well. So it shows also that it's a team that have got some character about them as, as well as great structures and skills. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be challenged greatly, uh, especially on their home ground. And the United Man squad, you made three changes. Just talk to us about them. Yeah, well, Jake Webster and uh, and uh, and Sam Hallis, they, you know, they're both uh, rested basically because uh, they've, had, they've had slight niggles, and we feel it'll just be aggravated on on an artificial pitch. So we've made sure that we, we sit them out uh, and obviously the other one left out is Mikey Wood. Uh, Mike is, you know, he hasn't played as well as he started off in the pre-season and he knows that and he's going to be given some game time on the Saturday in the reserves against Hunslet to try and rediscover his best form. But obviously, alternatively, we've got some real quality players who will be, who'll be coming in, uh, one of which is, uh, is our debutant in Olsic Krasniki. And it'll be a chance for sports to see John Magrin as well in competitive action again. Yeah, them. well, yeah, I mean, obviously he was at Sheffield last year, so there's a certain irony that he's making his, uh, his, his debut against Sheffield, so it'll, it will be great to see him down there, and it'll be great to see you know how he's improved in that year when he was away, so I'm looking forward to seeing him out on the, on the field, and uh, let's see if he can give us some real good goal forward and some real tough defence, and let's see if he can pose me some problems when I'm trying to fit Sam Hallis or whoever back into the team. You targeted the first four games before the season as a real sort of marker for your squad. Your two wins from two, you must be pretty happy with that. I am, yeah, but obviously the two games are coming up are two very difficult ones uh, as they're panning out. I, I think Sheffield have, have shown enough already uh, to be earmarked as a, as a, a playoff contender. And we know York really well. I mean, you know, we had all last year competing with York, vying for York for that top spot, which obviously they won. And uh, so we know they're a quality team and they're playoff contenders as well. So we know full well these next two games are going to be very difficult. But all our focus and all our energy at the minute is on the one in, in 20, just over 24 hours' time when we play at Sheffield. How sort of pleased they with the performances so far? You've come into a new league, but you haven't looked out of place. No, You've given well, two really good teams a challenge. Well, I'm, I'm going to pay Andrew Chalmers a, a big pat on the back here because all through our recruitment, what our mantra was, we're recruiting top four championship players, and uh, I think by looking at, at, at who we've recruited, how they fit in, I think they're hopefully turning our team into that. And obviously, the lads who, who stayed with us. I always felt that they were championship players at the very least, and uh, they're proving that as well. So I was always confident we'd be we'd be good and we'd be at home uh, within this league. But obviously, we don't just want to be at home within the league. We want to be challenging within the league, and that's our main objective. And the first two games have been good, but you know there's plenty more to come, and there's plenty more improvement as well that we've got to make if we are going to seriously challenge. Uh, you had tough pre-season fixtures against the likes of Halifax, Dewsbury. Do you feel like your squad sort of battle hardened for a fixture like Sheffield now? Yeah, I think it is, but you know, I, I think it helped us because we played it basically. We played apart from the Huddersfield uh, testimonial game for Michael Lawrence. We played all championship teams, so I think it gave us a real good uh, look at what we had to come up against. And they were all close games, uh, except for the Toronto one, obviously. And they were all close games, so we could sort of take some confidence from it, but also accept that that's the standard that we're going to be facing week in, week out. And it's done us good, yes, allowing us to start so well. But as I said before, we've got loads of improvement in us and we're nowhere near the finished product. So there's a load of work that we've got to do and we'll continue to improve and progress, I hope, throughout the season. That must make it exciting to be part of the club if there's a lot more improvement to do and you've still, you know, you've won two from two. Oh, it is, yeah. I, mean, it's, I just think it's an exciting time to be connected with Bradford Bulls, whether you're a, you're a fan, whether you're a sponsor, whether you're uh, on the board of directors, whether you're their owner, whether you're a coach or whether you're a player. It's, it's a great time to be involved. There's, there's definite positivity all around the place. There's a feeling that we are improving and it's sustainable progression that we're making. And so, yeah, it's a great 
great time to be in and around this club and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I think all the playing group are and I hope the fans are as well.